You're in for a treat. Former ABC television executive turned inspirational author is here with us this morning to tell us about the life-changing moments in our lives that many people think coincidence. Yeah. Squire Rushdale calls the moments God winks and he talks about them. His great new book, it's called When God Winks on New Beginnings. Oh, thank you. It's good to uh, tell folks what you mean by God wink. Well, a God wink is one of those little things that happens to everybody. We call them coincidences, mm -hmm. or we might say, wow, what are the odds of that happening? But they are so unbelievable that they must have come from some supernatural source. It's kind of like when you were a kid and you sat across the table and you looked at mom or dad or grandma and they gave you a little mm. communication. You never said, what do you mean by that? You yeah. knew it meant hey kid, I'm thinking of you right now. And that is what a God wink is. What a great feeling that is to know someone is thinking of you, someone yes. special like that. We asked our folks online to, to write in and, and tell us about a God wink. I wanna share one with you. It's uh, okay. Lori from Fort Worth. Um, she said it was the first time that she was flying to Europe with her friend and uh, she went off to, to the airport with a box of fortune cookies. And after a two hour delay, waiting frustrated, she opened one of the fortune cookies and it said, a delay is better than a disaster <laughs> and that's when she knew yeah that's when you know that's the way God winks happen they just come in like little unexpected gifts in our lives and it's so important to start opening yourself up to recognize them because what they are there for is to give you a sense of comfort at a time when you're looking for hope when you're feeling mm. great uncertainty like you had when you went through great uncertainty in your life right. and the God winks that came along mm -hmm. were just little Hugs of comfort. And in fact, when you, when your, my mom gave me your, your first, first book to help me get through that. You said that you had one that you wanted to share with us, a God well, wink. The Stacia Kelly story, I think, is just wonderful. Stacia was about 25 years old at the time. She got the call in the middle of the night that her father had died of a heart attack. She quickly packed a bag, headed for the airport. She took a seat by the window and opened up the morning paper. And there was her father's picture. Emmett Kelly, world's most famous clown, dead at 80. Now, you remember, remember Emmett Kelly? He was the hobo clown yeah. with the sad face. He had a very sad mm -hmm. face. And he made sure he never had a picture taken with anything but the sad face. And he was successful at that, except for the one time he was being interviewed by a UPI photographer. The phone rang. It was the doctor, Emmett. Congratulations, you're the father of a new baby girl. And he grinned from ear to ear and click, that picture the next day went around the world. The only picture of the sad face clown smiling. Mm. Now back on the plane, Stacia reached into a bag and she pulled out one of those old yellow newspapers. And she looked at that one picture of her father smiling. And you know, it was the moment of recognition she understood what he was smiling about. He was smiling about her. She began to cry, and there was a man seated next to her. He leaned across and he said, Miss, are you okay? She said, Yes, my father died last night. The man turned ashen. He said, You won't believe this. My name is Frank Beatty. I'm the photographer who took that picture 25 years ago. No. Wow, wow. what are the odds yeah. that that man would be seated there? And she said, At that moment, a peace came over her that surpassed all understanding. Mm, what a story. I can hear your stories. I can read your stories <laughs> all day long. I know you have a great online community. Yes, well. I believe that. I tell God wink stories. I invade your email every Monday and Wednesday. <laughs> Beliefnet.com. Yeah. Uh, oh, Squire, thank you. Never enough time for I you. I know. But, but uh, continued blessings to you. And thank you thank for sharing. You. We certainly do appreciate it. And you can find out more at our website at abcnews.com.